What's up YouTube? Welcome to another brand new video. Today I'm going to teach you how I make those amazing pictures that you guys see on my Instagram account. Of. So guys, let's get into it real quick. Frank, what's up? Yo, YouTube. What's going on guys? Your boy Frankie Orange. This is your first time on Zaggy's Toby's channel. Make sure you click subscribe and you join Zaggy Nights. <laughs> First thing you do before taking any picture or before raising even your camera, your phone, your Android phone or your um, iPhone, guys, I want you to make sure you understand what you're about to portray in the picture. So for me, I when I when I hold my camera, before I even hold my camera, I go to the area I want to take the picture, I survey the area, I look at it, I look at the angle that I'm about to explain, I look at it if it's going to explain what I'm feeling deep down. If, it, if it's not going to explain what I'm feeling deep down, I leave the location, I step to another location. When I check out those things, I make sure that, yes, this is this is it for me. And when all those things are really fine, then I'm like, boom, I, got, I have my pictures, like, there's no, there's no, there's no wasting time and stuff. So I go there in the evening, I shoot my picture, or I go there very early in the morning, around 6 or 5, and I set my camera, and I wait for the sun to rise, then I take those pictures. Tip number two to taking that picture, what I'm about to tell you, it's going to involve things like Lightroom, Photoshop. Those are the, the two Adobe apps that I can recommend for you to use and make your pictures pop in coloring. So tip number two is about coloring. Now a good image might be black and white. Doesn't matter. Only thing that matters is that what you are trying to explain. Is it vibing with the color? Is your color expressing the same thing you want to you want it to explain the picture? So now for me when I take when I take my pictures, I'm also I'm also considering colors. I'm also making sure that the cloud is not too saturated or the cloud is not giving me a color that I can't bring out on Lightroom. I'll give you this tip that okay when, when you are doing your pictures, you can you can use black and white because black and white actually makes your picture look more more matured and gives you that that clean vintage look that you guys are like okay. Yes, is it trying to bring me back to the vintage kind of thing? But I want you guys to know that there are different types of black and whites that you can use because black and white, or there are some dramatic black and white, and there are some fake black and white, and also different types. I, I don't want to mention it, but I'll mention it in my next video probably if if that's what you guys are going to comment next on my page. So guys, check out the pictures that I took on Instagram and um, and Twitter that I posted on. Instagram especially on Inzaghi Onai you guys are going to see those pictures and how I play the colors in to make sure that those pictures are fabulous and fantastic so guys that's the end of today's video and make sure that you click on this like button this subscribe button and tell me what you think about this video or what I just said if it's going to be valuable to you and guys don't forget to share this video